there's someone commentating in this video today. And his name is yours truly! <laughs> What's going on everybody, yours truly here and today I'm going to be talking about my official NBA 2K17 My Career wish list. Now with NBA 2K17 less than 2 months away, you're probably thinking, <laughs> Whoa, it's a little late for all this, I don't know. But with what I'm going to be talking about, it's nothing major, just small things that I hope or wish that will make it into the game. So now I'm not going to be going into too much detail on every topic that I talk about, I'm just going to skim through it and give a little bit of detail and just keep going on. Starting with the accessories. One being compression pants. As long as they've had compression pants in the game, which was in 2K15 and 16, we've never been able to apply compression pants to our My Career. So NBA 2K17's My Career, this should be the year we should finally be able to equip compression pants to our My Players. And lastly will be mouthpieces, not much for accessories, but mouthpieces. They showed it in the trailers that players had mouthpieces, yet we still couldn't equip them. If they would give us the option to equip mouthpieces to our My Careers as well as give them some mouthpiece animations, then that would be cool. And not just equip them to our My Players, just equip them to any player in general. And how Stephen Curry has his mouthpiece animation when he shoots his free throws, even if you do pick the Stephen Curry free throw, your person will not hold out his mouthpiece like Steph Curry. So that should be something that we should be able to have in 2K17 as well. Next thing up is body types. When you create a player, you should be given the option to have body types and to choose from which one. It makes no sense to have a 6'10", 250 pound power forward or center and he's looking just like my 6'1 point guard who's 190 pounds looking real skinny. So body types is something that they definitely need to get on, especially NBA Live has it, so why can't 2K? You know 2K needs to add in the option to pick body types if NBA Live has it, so they definitely need to get on that. And they used to have it on the old 2Ks back then, but they just took them out, I don't know why. Next up is hairstyles. When you create a player, the options for fresh haircuts, they suck, they look horrible. What? I can't even describe how bad these haircuts look. So what 2K needs to do in my opinion for hairstyles is one, give us way more hairstyle options like fresh cuts and stuff. I mean some of them are okay and nice but for the most part they're bad just in my opinion. And secondly they need to give us the option to choose the same hairstyle as NBA players. There are people who want certain hairstyles just like their favorite NBA player. So what they need to do with this is when you're selecting your hair. Not only do they have the hairstyles like Crop 1, Crop 2 show up, but they need to have the hairstyle options like the Chris Paul cut, the D'Angelo Russell cut, the Dwayne Wade cut, stuff like that. And then how their haircut actually is, it's basically applied onto your My Player. Because with the limited hairstyles there are now, everyone's My Players tend to look all the same. NBA Live pretty much did this already. Not exactly what I'm saying, but you can see they got the Joakim Noah, Blake Griffin right here, and they even had the Alfred Payton hairstyle. So NBA 2K17, or just some NBA 2K in the future needs to have something like that. Because I can't wait for the day for me to apply LeBron's haircut to my My Player. Next up is upgrading your My Player. Please let us go back to the way when we were able to upgrade our My Career's attributes one by one, by one category, not six different things at one time, if you get what I'm saying. And I know other people want this the same way because not everybody wants to spend 10,000 VC to upgrade a category that they don't even care about. You know, people might just want to be a mid-range shooter, but not a mid-range and three-point shooter. So they definitely got to go back to the old way of upgrading your My Player. Just simple as that. Next, they should add celebrations. All these celebration options that they have right here for the park in 2K, I would hope to see them add something like this for us to perform in-game. In-game celebrations. Yeah, every player has a celebration, but it's pretty much a generic celebration that the game gives you. So I'd hope for them to add something like this so we can celebrate in-game with the click of a button after we score, hit a shot, and we can have a whole bunch of options to choose from for a celebration. Especially these type of celebration animations right here because celebrating after you hit a jump shot and you can, you know, with the flick of a button, NBA Live did it. They gave us the option to choose celebrations. Although we weren't able to use them with the click of a button, they would just do the celebration randomly. They still gave us the option to choose celebrations. So if they have something like that, you know 2K needs to do something with celebrations and giving us the option to do them. Because I know everybody's getting tired of Freak's Dance. 
And the last thing I'm going to talk about for the wish list is the badge on court coach. They need to have an on court coach badge for NBA 2K17. For those of you who are not familiar with the on court coach signature skill, it used to be a signature skill in the old 2Ks, but they took it out and then they started doing the badge system. But what on court coach would do is basically you're the player on the team, you know, you can call any plays you want no matter what position you're playing. As soon as you press the call for pass button, a teammate will drop what they're doing and they'll give you the ball. You can have the option to tell your teammate to shoot and just stuff like that because teammates don't do anything in my career. You have to get them to score. And doing that isn't easy. So basically they could just wait until you're only able to get the badge until you're in your third year in the NBA and you know your team chemistry is 100%, then you just automatically be uh, rewarded with the badge. So that would be cool to see on-court coach into the game. But that's it. That's my wish list for NBA 2K17. It's my career. It's nothing gameplay wise because it's just a wish list for, you know, features and stuff like that. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like because it lets me know that I'm doing what I'm doing. You know, I'm doing a good job at what I'm doing. And if you didn't enjoy the video, make sure to leave a comment and say how can I improve to make it more enjoyable. And like I said earlier, I know this wish list is late, but it's better late than never, especially when the game's still still about a month and a half away, something like that. But if you're watching this and you have something that you'd like to see in NBA 2K17 to my career, then make sure to let me know because you might have some ideas that I didn't think of and that would be really cool to see in the game. So I'm also going to have a my GM slash my league wish list. So this will basically be part one and then the next one will be part two. But other than that, I'm yours truly. I was your commentator for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm so fresh you can suck my nuts. I'm so fresh you can suck my nuts. Swag. I'm so fresh you can suck my nuts. Uh, I'm so fresh you can suck my nuts. I'm so fresh you can suck my nuts. I'm so fresh you can suck my nuts.